Okay, hi. So, um, what I was talking about in my previous videos was just how my natural hair is. I've like always had it pressed. Um, first time trying it out, like letting it out. So, the first product I tried, like based off YouTube and like blog posts and just general Google searching, is um, the OGX brand the Moroccan Argan Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. So the first time I like tried it a little bit was when I still had my weave-in, I tested it on my natural hair that was out. So I think it was my edges that I was like, okay, I want to, I was already anxious before I took my weave out, like how it was going to feel. So I think before that I was using Tresemme, which like, in the first place probably isn't that great for black hair but it smelled really good and I was like I don't give a F like it's just a regular shampoo conditioner it's not like out of this world for my hair but you know since I had the weave-in I was like it's fine so when I started using the OGX shampoo I started like um feeling difference probably from the sulfate free whole thing and then um what else i was questioning is i was like i wonder how it's gonna be for my whole hair so immediately i noticed a difference but uh i don't think it was that great of a difference to where like i was like this is some real stuff but it was definitely softer and better so what i'm what i've tried now thanks to my mom like recommending it to me I actually got one of those HSN deals, the call-in, and it's like, I think it was like $11 and three payments, and it's the Carol's Daughter set. So, the Carol's Daughter set I had, so it's the Manoy Repairing Sulfate Free Shampoo, so that's this one here, and then the... And then the Monoi Repairing Conditioner. And then the Monoi Body Repairing Transformative Shower Milk. So, I should actually say, for some reason, I like misplaced the conditioner. <laughs> so, I haven't tried it yet. But immediately when I got the shampoo and I had it together, it smells really good. Um, my mom helped me wash my hair with the shampoo and the craziest part is in the first wash you already notice a difference like it's crazy like I actually felt like there was not like a huge weight on my hair it's just like my hair like I can like touch it feel it it doesn't feel like there's a bunch of stuff in it which you wouldn't even think about it before <laughs> until you tried this and you're like oh this is what my hair is supposed to feel like so i had when i first researched like um natural hair shampoos conditioners that people were fans of of course carol's daughter came up but i was like i'll start out easy i'll start out like the ten dollar range that's why i went with the ogx which was a good start because it kind of got me a little bit of the feeling like maybe but this definitely is a whole nother thing it is expensive for um each item but i will say the hsn deal was really good like that was pretty good it was basically how much i paid for the other shampoo but just in like three installments for three things so this is just amazing I am still waiting to see how the conditioner works. I'm kind of excited to see actually. My hair is pretty much ready to be washed again. <laughs> but um, I just been waiting to use the shampoo and the conditioner together. And it's crazy because I don't think I've ever felt like a weightless type of feel from any shampoo. And when I used to switch shampoos like Pantene, and what was that other shampoo? I mean, I would even go Pantene Suave, like cheap shampoos in the past. 
my hair just it started reacting worse each time I would like try to change it up like I think my hair would get used to Pantene and when I try to go back to it to wash it it didn't have the same effect which was actually the best one of the sulfate shampoos but I haven't tried Pantene sulfate free but this I don't think I want to try anything else after trying this um I don't know if you can see that it's already been used a lot but um it says it detangles that's probably the most uh significant change that i saw maybe that's why it was really light because the first time i used it after i washed it i then blow dried it which you would think that's probably like a lot of damage but immediately it just felt clear like i could run my hands through it so it was amazing as far as the hair Go. I still need to try the conditioner, but this is like life changing. Like, I don't know if I saw anybody talk about this, but I just saw that it worked really well. I wasn't expecting it to work so well. Like, I don't know, I'm just gonna have to, you know, save up only to get this. But I'm planning on trying a, other ones in the future, but just to mix it up so my hair doesn't get too used to it but this is amazing like I, it's worth the money to me and then so I got the Manoi body repairing shower milk so the thing about this is it says it gently cleanse it says gently cleanse and deeply replenish so you can truly have youthfully radiant skin free of imperfection. This nourishing anti-aging sulfate free body wash rejuvenates parched, distressed, or exhausted skin for instant softness and visible improvement. Uh, super precious Manoi, a repairing Tahitian blend, calms, smooths, and protects skin from future damage. Having undeniably gorgeous, flawless skin stars now. So I don't know if you can tell, but there's literally nothing in here because my mom and I like used the whole entire thing. I don't even know when we got this, but it wasn't so long ago where the whole entire thing should be gone. So I think the it smells really good. It smells kind of flowery, but still has that kind of soapy smell, but to me, good soapy smell, not like cheap soapy smell. But anyways, um, this freaking stuff is so good. Like, uh, I don't know. When I first tried it, I was like, there's nothing really special about it. Like, I was like, I don't really feel like my skin has improved or anything. But here's the thing. When you put it, uh, when I put it, like, on my loofah and I start scrubbing, it's just easy. It's not like this thick thing you have to like scrub in and make sure it all washes off. It just, it does lather your body like kind of liquidy. It's just like easy to deal with and you actually feel like clean. To me, I think I was expecting like a lot, a lot of moisture and that's why I was surprised at first. But it's something easy to just wash through your body and you feel like you're done, like you're cleansed. So definitely this was worth the price as well. So I'm a really big fan of Carol's daughter now. Like, I can't believe I've lived without this stuff for as long as I have because it's so good and it's perfect for my hair and even the skin. Of course, I'm going harder on the hair because just a lot of people, you know, have catered to skin products. So I'm like, oh, okay, you know, it's not that big of a deal. But this is great, too. Just the hair amazes me so much more. So after getting those items on HSN, I was in Target a few days ago. And I was just kind of getting, like, little things like scrunchies and, like, uh, hair clips. And then, uh, oh, yeah, hair bands. And then I was like, okay, I have to see if there's anything. Oh, you know what I was looking for? I was looking for the spray to dye your hair with lemon juice. I was looking for the OGX one, but um, I ended up getting Sun In, which 
I'm gonna tell you about trying that later. I haven't tried it yet, but I got it. I don't know how it works on black hair. I should actually look that up later, but I'm kind of scared because my friend, one of my best friends did it and his hair looks pretty amazing and it's totally lighter. So I'm like, I don't know. I've never dyed my hair before. So I don't know how that's gonna work out, but you know, it might be worth the try. I got it for like $5. But anyways, when I was at Target, I got another Carol's Daughter product for like $10, I think, maybe like $10.99. So it's the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Nourishing and Conditioning Refresher Spray. So, um, yeah, lately what I've been doing is just, let me see, I guess during the day I'll style my hair, whatever, but at night I'll uh, try to part it and braid it with usually just water, sometimes oil, um, and then I pretty much wake up and take out the braids, and I usually like how it looks, sometimes I don't, and then I'm just like, oh, okay, well I tried, so then I like, um, put in a bun or like half, half up, half down, I just been trying a lot of different things, so always before I go to bed, I try to keep it as clean as possible because I'm trying to avoid grease now and I'm trying to avoid a lot of oils and heavy stuff because I don't see the point now because I don't really have the style to keep up with I don't know like because it's natural I'm like let's try to go all natural like even if my hair gets dry like I'll try to wait it out a couple days before I wash it again like I just want to keep that style so then Instead of water, a couple nights ago, I sprayed this on my hair and then braided it. So, um, yeah, so the next morning, I took out the braids. And to me, at first when I took it out, I was like, I feel like there was a little bit of residue. But let me tell you, I didn't notice anything after that because the whole day, just my braids just like stayed crinkled or my unbraided hair stayed crinkled and moisturized like it looked like it moved and I was like what is in this stuff I mean I see there's an ingredients list but um yeah this is just like perfect for me like perfect because I don't know it just worked really well so I only used it the one time and I actually kept those braids in for two days or the um braid the braid out I kept it for two days because actually all I did was wrap my hair and took it out and it was still in the same position and I am like I move the hell around in my sleep so this worked really well too so I think I'm addicted to Carol's daughter products right now I'm so happy that they work so well and I'm they make me really excited to keep my natural hair out like to keep experimenting and just seeing what works because I'm just super excited about this so yeah if anyone else um you know has any recommendations or you know just anything regarding Carol's daughter I'm of course going to keep looking up what everyone else has said about it, tips and tricks, all that types of stuff I'm going to be looking into, but I'm just so freaking excited and just, I'm hoping over time as I make these videos, there's going to be like a significant difference, like from the beginning, like, I mean, I don't want my hair to look like crispy and stuff and like gross in the beginning, but I want there to actually be like progress in terms of like me finding stuff that works for my hair and my skin and my body so i'm pretty excited and i hope other people are too and i don't know i hope there's other people out there who are just experimenting as much as i am in 2015 and yeah i'll see you soon